Hey, how's it going guys, Zedai here. So we finally got an opportunity of hearing a little more details relating to Metal Gear Solid Delta, the Snake Eater remake. Now, a few interesting details as well that I definitely need to mention that a lot of people actually got an opportunity, well, I shouldn't say a lot, but a few people got an opportunity of playing the game and just ex having a hands-on experience with this remake and just sharing what they thought about it. Interesting things relating that there were mentions that it stays loyal to the original, right? It respects for, uh, for the original work, and it seems to be remake fans have been waiting for years. This genuinely is fantastic news. Now, also, another big feature is that the quality of life updates are useful, but not excessive. So, also, since this is an option that you can go with, right? You can go with the quality of life in terms of how the game played before, you know, from its first release, I think it was back in 2004. And now, of course, with the re-release in 2024, maybe 2024. 2025 and of course the release date has yet, not yet been unfortunately announced now there will be two different modes the fidelity that will be concentrating on the 30 fps and yet also a performance mode that will be concentrating on 60 fps and you know it and i'm sure a lot of more people will admit as well that everybody's going to be most likely to be playing this game on 60 fps now you can play this as a standard modern over the shoulder third person shooter or with the old metal gear solid 3 controls such, such as basically you can go with the direction of how you want to go right you can go the direction how you like to play this game i really like this having options is always necessary for these sorts of games especially since they're remakes and if they're staying true to the word and staying true to a lot of things that has been already introduced within the original and having a remake then so this means people at least hardcore fans will be looking for a very similar experience maybe even in terms of the controls now there's extra mentions in terms of the new controls and I quote it provides a pleasant illusion of how I remember Metal Gear Solid 3 being controlled even though it wasn't. The shift seemed natural, fluid and enjoyable. It's good to hear since like already mentioned hardcore people will be looking something similar that they have already experienced from their initial launch of this game. Now the modern menu design with a multitude of accessibility settings. Now you can tweak it to however you wish, right? You can tweak how you prepare your weapons and equipment, toggle or hold down a button when grabbing foes. This is a very big feature I'm hearing a lot of people are just so thankful it's present here. Modify color corrections, center dot display and etc. There's plenty of things to mention. Now, interesting thing as well, modifying color corrections, they have already announced that there's going to be different palettes that you can go about in like while you're playing through this game. So you can have a more traditional classic look like just it was in the original, or you can have a lot more modern look that will be present here in the remake, as, of course, as we have already seen. And then there's going to be a few extra details on that, that as well. Now, there's a lot of acclaim for the visuals, right? It will be running on the Unreal Engine 5. You can use the camera during the real-time cutscenes to get close enough to view the pores on the snake's skin, more ambient animals and wildlife within this game. So you actually can appreciate the detail and the attention how this game was developed and how good in terms of the visuals it will be present. I really like this because, you know, if you want to take Photoshop, well, photo mode and, you know, take pictures and just maybe screenshot and just, well, I don't know, publish it online or social media and stuff, you can kind of show off that. I Like, it's a nice attention. All the characters look terrific, as has been mentioned, and remain loyal to the original design. Now, even though they say that, I did notice some of the characters perhaps may look a little bit different comparing to what they looked like on the original, and that's totally understandable why, because the original still had some issues in terms of the um, character models, but in this case, uh, you know, they'll look a lot more lifelike. And you know what? This is always a plus, at least in my book. Now, there are no real load periods in the game. This is an interesting part I want to mention. But the creators or the developers wanted to persevere the rhythm of the original. Thus, there still would be some fade to black when switching to a new region. If you guys remember in the Metal Gear Solid 3, whenever you go into a new region, there will be fade into black and then more or less of loading times. In this case, they were considering and thinking about should they do something about this? And the thing is why I'm mentioning here, because the next bullet 
bullet point. Some previewers uh, wish it did more to freshen up the experience rather than zoning off the section like the original. While you could easily flee and restart everything, having everything remain continuous may have created for some of them more intriguing design. It does not reinvent the Metal Gear Solid 3 experience, right? Even though you can actually go about from region to region and there will be some fade in black to, to back to the game, it's understandable why they made this decision. And still, it's very difficult to make a decision if some people will dislike it or like it. There's always somebody there that just, just do not like this kind of decision. A lot more people and perhaps some people would have actually said, oh man, you should never have these loadings at all, right? This is just an illusion to have a loading screen because it was present in the original. That's why they decided to be, uh, you know, continuing on with that kind of experience. So they will have this a little bit of a short, quick loading screen for, to fade into black and then back into the game, but nevertheless, I don't think that's really is an issue. I really don't think it's actually that big of a deal, at least in my personal opinion. Now there's a little quote, personality has not been sacrificed in the pursuit of the realism. Snake still only climbs the same IV covered trees. Snake still gets packaged into two go boxes when killed and run when shooting down the beehives. You will still wear a Raiden's mask if you choose I like Metal Gear Solid 2 at the start of the mission and etc. So basically what the, more or less mentions that you can expect everything that was present in the original Metal Gear Solid 3 in here as well. So it stays true to its word, it stays true to its remake. Snake's initial bag of supplies now includes a compass and an objective indicator. I really like this uh, feature. You know, a little bit of extra always helps and it's always interesting to see kind of details on the design. Now rolling, it has a dedicated button, well, a triangle. You can now dive to the ground from a standing posture as well. So as you can hear and see that a lot of things that were present in Metal Gear Solid 5 are actually going to be in Metal Gear Solid 3 Remake. I really like that. The team worked hard to ensure that the new models or you know, assets blended in and moved, breathed and reacted as similar as feasible to the original. So like already mentioned, a lot of things are going to be present here that has been already made back in 2004 and it's going to stay true to its word how it was in the original. Now wounds will appear on Snake's body during the game as he, he gets harmed and they will noticeably hinder him of, if, you know, of course if he's not going to treat these. A uh, camo index system returns with additional enhancements. Snake can also roll around in dirt, muck, and get realistically covered in it, which boosts his camouflage. Now, of course, that really depends on the area where you're at. So, I like this. Now, we got a little bit snippet of, uh, you know, screenshot as well, how he will be able to change his camouflage uh, suits and cover-ups and stuff. I, I like that. At least, it's not like it was... In the original, I believe you go back into the menu, you pause the whole thing, you go back to the menu, then you click on uh, different camouflage suits. It's, it's just too much in terms of slowing down the whole gameplay. Now, previewers pre reported that his entire face and torso became dripping wet brown and his hair sludgily and slicked and he is camo index top top, rendering him practically invisible to the neighboring crocodiles. So of course, when you see how realistically he gets dirty and how everything is just covered in all the muck and mud and dirt and just seeing how he goes pretty much invisible. I really like that attention to detail, especially how good it looks. Oh man, I cannot wait to experience that for myself. Now the release date is already a little bit mentioned already at the, well, more or less of the beginning of the commentary, uh, will be revealed sometime later this year. And there's a assumption, or at least a presumably could be time at the Tokyo Game Show. Now if that's the case, it is a possibility that this game may in fact come out this year. Now, since there already were some previewers and people actually getting an opportunity of experiencing it for themselves, that screams good news to me. Now, I still think this game should come out this year. Not to say that I wanted to get on my hands as quickly as possible. Well, honestly, I do want to play this as soon as possible. But what I'm saying is because 2025 is a juggernaut of a year. We need to push some games away earlier to release them or later. Do not release games in 2025. We have too many titles coming out then. Now, not to say that there's as if 
this year or last year or the, uh, last year before we did not have a lot of a lot of games my meaning is that 2025 is going to have ginormous big bangers coming out in 2025 and that is very concerning and on top of that a biggest of them all behemoth i'm talking about that is grand theft auto 6 and that's just gonna suck up all the time in the world from everybody i know this game is not grand theft auto 6 but nevertheless i feel that 2025 in general is too packed you gotta move some things around so i believe that metal gear solid 3 well delta remake <laughs> should come out well this year at least at the end of this year maybe maybe release it in november release it in, in december uh, some people may say that indiana jones will be coming out at the uh, end of this year in december so maybe that's not a good idea to release the game as well in december nevertheless like i said just release the game maybe at the end of november because uh Konami actually has Silent Hill 2 coming out, I think it was early of October. So I think it would make sense for this game to really be released at the end of November. And nevertheless, that's just my thoughts. Now to summarize a little bit and just go really quickly through everything that I mentioned and some details regarding Metal Gear Solid Delta. Now there's going to be already mentioned updated controls and very conventional uh, choices that you can make the decision going through this game and playing while playing through of course quality of life improvements obviously 30 fps quality mode and a performance mode will be going up to the 60 fps very com uh, like very very convenient and, and i'm very thankful about that now it's going to be an expanded to more of the contemporary menu layout so basically it's going to be a lot more easy of use Range of solutions for the accessibility, very good news. Adjusts weapon readiness and use. You can grab foes without holding down the button, so that really depends on your choice of how you wanna go about it in terms of the controls. Modifying the image by using color correction. Modifying the central dot display. Unreal, uh, Unreal <laughs> Engine 5 offers a great visual leap comparing to what we have seen before. It's going to be an excellent in terms of the details, especially in zoomed in moments. Smooth blending of fresh and old visuals. So you, as mentioned, you can make that kind of a decision. Figures act a more like they actually should. Snake's body is covered in wounds and blood as more you progress through the game. So basically you can also handle snakes injuries and fractures. Of course, that really is up to you to make that kind of decision. Complex index system for the camouflage. Rolling in mud or the soil makes a snake pretty much disappear well it depends again on the environment there are many seasoned employees involved old and new are going to be within this project and they're well developing it and meets all of the expectations uh, put on the original metal gear Solid 3 and it seems to be doing it right fantastic fantastic details relating to Metal Gear Solid Delta that we've received, some of the new, some of the old. Nevertheless, I am looking forward to this game. And at that, thank you so much for watching, like and subscribe. I'll see you guys all and have a wonderful day.